everyone, it's Shane. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are reacting to one of the biggest, iconic, most mysterious artists in the world, Miss Kate Bush. So guys, today's video, Wuthering Heights, Kate's debut single from 1977-78. So there's a little bit of a story behind this one. So as the story goes, Kate released this in November of 1977, officially, the same year that I was born, the same month that I was born. So we have a bit of a connection, uh, this song and I. Um, but apparently she didn't like the original cover version of the single, so she stopped it. So when she was finally happy, she released it in January of 1978, and it rose to the top of the charts. It hit number one in the UK. It hit number one in Ireland. It hit number one in Italy. It hit number one in New Zealand. And it also hit number one, very proudly, here in Australia, where I live. So there's actually two versions of this video. Uh, the first version is the white version, and that's Kate dressed in a white dress, and she's dancing around in mist, and she's telling the story of Kathy as a ghost. And then the second version is the red version. Now this is the most famous and iconic version. And this was recorded for the US version, um, the release over there. And it sees Kate in a red dress and she's dancing around this grassy field. And it's really campy and it's just phenomenal. And people just absolutely love this version of the, of the video. And because the red version of the video is so iconic, uh, in 2016, some fans got together and they created the most Wuthering Heights day ever. And it sees a, you know, a load of fans coming together dressed as um, Kate in the red dress and they recreate the choreography to Wuthering Heights. The most Wuthering Heights day is held all around the world, including Australia, so Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Adelaide, Perth, Bunbury, Gold Coast, Newcastle, Blue Mountains, Canberra and Bega Valley. It's in Europe. It's in Berlin. It's in Belgium, France, Dublin, Sweden, Finland and Norway. It's in America. It's in Canada. It's in Israel. And it's just a huge event and it's beautiful and everyone is having so much fun and that's the power of music bringing everyone together <laughs> further ado guys let's get into the most amazing artist Kate Bush and Wuthering Heights oh. that voice So she sets up the surroundings of Wuthering Heights and then she sets up the characters and what they're like, what Heathcliff is like and what Kathy is like. And then she just breaks into this beautiful chorus. She really could have been a novelist. Her writing is just sublime and she really is so descriptive and so smart with her lyrics. And, you know, she, she really just 
paint a picture in your imagination of you know of this book of this story such an amazing beautiful song to this song is just absolutely stunning you know for for a woman of of 18 when she did write this song you know both the lyrics and the music you know what a talent what an absolute talent <laughs> simple video just Kate in a field doing some interpretive dance and and what I love about this artist is that she is so true to herself she sticks to her vision um, you know just just remember you know went back when this was first released you know we're in the midst of the whole disco era and this was so different and so new and just so um, expressive and and this song just brings out so many emotions in me. The music alone, um, that ending is just one of the best endings to a song. It is just sublime, it's beautiful, it's so emotive, and it moves you. I just, I can't say enough about Kate Bush. She's just such an inspiration, and you know, I've learned so much about life. Um, through her, her through her music her lyrics through her vision and and it just goes to show 
her vision is just as strong as it is today as it was back in, in 1970, 78, um, because of the most Wuthering Heights day ever. Um, you know, it's iconic, it's campy, it's most of all, it's just absolutely stunningly beautiful. And thank you, Kate, for, for bringing this to us because it is such a masterpiece and I just love it. So guys, there you have it, Kate Bush and Wuthering Heights. What an amazing song, what an amazing video. You know, it's it's one of the best. And so if you really liked um, Kate Bush, come back and see me again. Like, subscribe, dislike, comment, whatever you'd like to do. Um, come back and see me again and we're gonna do more and more Kate Bush in the future because I just absolutely love this artist. She is stunningly sublime. Thanks for watching, see you later.